Hey guys, it's Britt, and I wanted to have another little, like, booktube discussion because I feel like now more than ever they're needed, but also, um, I, I'm... <sighs> I want to tread lightly here because what I'm about to say might offend <laughs> a lot of people or things that might get misconstrued but um people have now come for my queen maggie steve otter and this was even before arcs were out so this is all before like bea and BookCon and everything people started getting angry based off of three sentences in an Entertainment Weekly article. People started making assumptions that Maggie Steve Otter's latest work is racist against Latin people. And while I, I see where people are coming from. I think it's also important to note that she, she, she has two sensitivity readers. And I, I think sensitivity reading is something relatively new to the, the industry. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm not sure. But she has two sensitivity readers. And while well, maybe I I haven't read the her all the crooked saints, and I am not of Latina origin, so I can't speak for that if it's if it's an issue or not, but there's such a hypocrisy in this community at the moment. And it's... <sighs> when you come after my queen, that's when I really get mad. People scream, we need diversity, we need diversity. But only from diverse people? What? That doesn't make sense to me. At all. Yes, yes, before everybody flips. Own voices is the best way to go with diversity. But for people who are legitimately trying, we can't just assume that a book is going to be racist because it doesn't feature white people. Just because a white person wrote it doesn't mean that they didn't do hours and hours of research and careful care. She didn't have to get sensitivity readers. But she did. And she, she didn't just get one sensitive, sensitivity reader. She has two. And let's not forget Maggie's... This, see, this is kind of controversy, too. Because a lot of people have issues with the Raven Cycle because of Henry Chang. And uh, while I am not of, of that... Asian descent. I didn't find Henry offensive, and I don't. I don't understand where that comes from. I've. Okay, the way I look at Henry is not just like an Asian stereotype. Anybody can make robots. That's, like, more of a geek thing. 
in my opinion. That's not a trait specifically for Asians. Can Henry happen to be Asian and build robots? Yes. That's not a trait specific to Asians. He could just have that as a hobby. You are the ones making it racist by assuming that she just gave Henry that hobby because he's Asian. Anybody can have that hobby. <laughs> and Baloo Sergeant and, like, every member of her family that lives at 300 Fox Way, she's not white. She's not white. She's, like... I never pictured her as white. And from the pictures that I've seen of Maggie's art, her skin is not white. Is Ronan white as hell? Yeah, but that's because he is Irish. Irish as hell. Is Gansey white? Probably. Is Adam white? Yeah. He's trailer trash. And if people want to add Ken in them as non-white characters, that's 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 fine, I suppose. But that's that's not how I picture them. And people are more than welcome to disagree. But anyway, I got off topic here, and really, I just going back to all the crooked scenes. Uh, one scenes are not just of like, that, I don't want to say the wrong thing here, I don't know the politically correct terms here, but while saints are very important in the cultures featured in this book, they don't just belong to that culture. Saints stem from Christianity, which from my understanding is very important in that culture, but it's not limited to that culture. It's not like she took it and borrowed it, like people are saying. I think people need to calm down and really look into, like, before we make judgments, can we please at least read the work? And listen to the voices that are of that culture? because that's important, and they know way better than I do, but even then, what might offend one person will not be deemed offensive to another. So it's, it's a very subjective thing, and I know I use subjective a lot, but that's, that's the best way I can put it. I, I don't know how else to put it here. If somebody gets offended by a book, I'm sorry, but you, you don't have to read that book. And I'm not saying that you have to read All the Crooked Saints either. If, if All the Crooked Saints is not your cup of tea, or if The Raven Cycle isn't your cup of tea, although I think it should be everybody's cup of tea, but that, that's just me because I'm biased and it's my favorite. Um, Please, guys, can we at least stop making assumptions that everything is out to get some culture or some minority in some way? It's getting out of hand, really. Um, and let's give these authors a chance as somebody who is, you know, gay, disabled etc. 
Um, yeah. I just... I think it's ridiculous. Not the fact that we have sensitivity readers or anything. I just... I think... I don't... I don't know how to put this without... Upsetting certain people, but that's unavoidable at this point. It's great that we have sensitivity readings and that that authors want to become more aware of stereotypes and things of that nature. And they don't automatically get a gold star for trying or including diversity. But they're, they're doing their best. There's been this outcry for diversity. And they're listening. But then we're shooting them down when they give it to us. So, I don't know. I don't see it as racist, but I'm not of that minority. So... Uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll leave the uh, the Goodreads for all the Crooked Saints for you guys down below. Uh, don't read it yet, because, I mean, the book hasn't even come out yet, so if, if you're to read it would be ridiculous. But I want you guys to go and read some of the comments and give me your thoughts, and if, if you are of... of I, if you are of that ethnicity, please let me know what you think, because I want to hear what you have to say, and I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.